Hey dear friends, welcome back again. In this episode, I want to show you how you can delete your data, okay? So let's create a new student also. For example, Nassim. Nassim. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven. Okay, this is our new student. So let's and please subscribe to my channel and like the videos and comment any question you have so let's add a new button okay let's add new button here okay that's nice this is the update button so this is the remove button and let's check here on and remove student okay like this this it here and save and let's go to the net beam let's go to the controller and yeah i want to just copy this method okay and change the method name to the unremove student we have here okay how you can remove the student it is actually easy you just need to select a student you just need an id here okay student that get id update student i want to make a make to remove student in my controller i want to copy this and here new student student for example student for example Ahmad mm. student that get name has been deleted deleting student was felt okay so just copy this and let's go to the controller and let's copy this method okay remove the extra space and change the method to remove student okay we work with update now we work with wet remove student and here uh, you can find this student and you don't update its data you just remove Remove the student, okay. Wow, in the previous video there is something and uh, some conflection here. So I want to comment this and now I see it. Okay, let's run the application.
if I update Nassim to Nassim Ali for example yeah it's updated in the database okay that's Nassim Ali if I again update to Nassim it works nice it works nice so actually as you can see we merge this but we should merge this one what's up here okay so deposit the students here so actually as you can see we do need this and also we do need this okay just em.get transaction and em.find student.class this id and then we merge the student and transaction commit let's check it for example now seem to Ahmad yes it is updated here all updated here okay that's nice so this one was new so <clears throat> then then to remove student we just find the student we want okay we just find the student we want and then we remove it okay then we remove it okay so let's run but here but here we I want to make sure a student you want to delete are you sure to delete that or, or no so to do that we just copy cut this code okay we cut it and here I want to make an alert new alert okay and button type is warning the text is are you sure to delete to delete uh, student that get name and the button type is yes yes I want to delete and the other button type is no okay and then yeah optional you need to class optional of type button type for example ptn type is equal to alert alert dot show and with now if 
btn type dot get is equal to button type dot yes if was yes then you can delete the data you want okay I cut this code otherwise otherwise okay otherwise if was no else if this btn type f was no then here mm, then here we just make a new alert okay deleting yes deleting student cancelled okay it should be was information yes that's okay so let's run our application now I want to delete Nassim remove first it asks from us are you sure to delete Nassim if no as you can see deleting is student cancelled okay there is no deletion as you can see Nassim still exists but if I click yes, yes, Nassim deleted. Okay, Nassim deleted, but it is not deleted from here. Okay, if I see here, it is deleted. Yeah, the Nassim has been deleted. But let's delete from table also. Okay. To do that, you instead of set, you can remove, copy this, remove, student, okay. let's remove valley are you sure yes wow it's nice it's deleted from here also okay that's nice thank you for your watching and see you in the next video and do not forget to subscribe my channel okay and like my videos and comment any question you have and i will see you in the next video. Goodbye.